Well, I'm gonna call the police. We found something. Oh my God! Did you find your daddy? I can't believe it. How could you kill him? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Uncle Bobby, but he hurt me. Get away from me, you crazy lunatic. Bobby, don't. He was a good man. Where is your proof? He's been, he's been. Hey, everybody, I'm Gina Keys, and I'm super excited. Tonight is the first read of Land, The Promise, a new original dark comedy. Tonight, I've just invited a few friends to come and to hear the play and to give me some really great feedback. And that garden, he planted so he could pick you fresh flowers before coming in the door. I never got no damn flowers. Y'all woke up the baby. Get your things, Rita. The devil is busy in here. I play Bobby. The play really focuses on dynamics that happen within families when you start to add money and possessions and history and secrets into the mix. Um, Bobby, I think, thinks he's going to come in and set things one way and then circumstances um, turn him another way. So it was really fun to come in and play around with that and really just let, I think, the character and the script inform where to go from there. That comes from all his years working down at Mr. Frank's house. He was the head butler. They had lots of money to Frank's, always throwing those fancy parties. And he come home with his pockets full from drunk white folks giving him what he called a little bump. Is that what the little bump meant? Well, I was sure it meant something else many times he said it while I was sitting on his lap. <laughs> oh, flirting geezer. You want some lemonade, Charlotte? Oh, no, thank you. Your grandma's lemonade is always a little short on sugar. That's too bitter for me. Bobby and Charlotte's relationship is interesting in that it's, we're in the 40s in the South, and it's an interracial relationship. From the script, Charlotte leaves her family, essentially. Her family disowns her. She was a daddy's girl, so having a break from her family and from any inheritance that her family would have passed on to her is a huge deal for her at that time. Especially as a woman at that time, we didn't have a lot of autonomy, or definitely not as much as we do now. Those dolls belong to our mother, Edward. Yes, but, but Granny left them to my mother as well as this land. Oh, everything in this house belongs to me. Edward, this ain't really the time no, for I, this. I, I, don't, I don't mean no harm, auntie, but what's right is right and what's fair is fair. What you know about fair? You didn't even see your mama laid up in the hospital dying of cancer. Where were you? Edward, I've been... Edward is um, someone in the family who wants a piece of the land that he thinks is, is owed to him. And it's, he's such a fun character to play, and I'm so grateful to Gina for offering the role to me. All he ever wanted to do was have a piece of America, and he died just wanting some space to feel free, a home, a family, so we could have some proof that we were here, land to leave our children, so they could have something to leave their children to build a legacy. Why, mama? There are some things worse than being dead, son. When you die, let me know what they are. Bobby. Now, I'm old, son. I'm tired of fighting. <laughs>